Hey, Mikey. Yo. Uh, I know uh, one of our last videos, a lot of people were upset. Uh, so today we're going to we're going to talk about something else. Um, oh, I was best, upset in our last video. Well, best way to describe it would be in uh, a cartoon. What we're talking about today. Dustin, could you come help me with the groceries? Oh my god! Hey, um, what's going on? Uh, hold on, Roman Poslansky. I'll have to call you back. Okay. Dustin, what in God's name are you doing? It's called crucicrinkling, mother. I suppose I could try once again to explain it to you, but last time you told me it wasn't appropriate dinner conversation. I'm just worried about you, Dustin. This shit isn't reality. It's not healthy. It's, I mean, it's outright sacrilegious. Y you've got to... Huh. People in diapers. Oh, fun. And furries, too. Banana bear. Show. Sorry, Mikey. I just wanted to show you that because it's funny. Sure. Chris, <laughs> funny. Chris Hilarious. Um, Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about this individual right here. Okay. Uh, now, this individual is very special. I uh, can tell. It's special in many ways. You see, there's like staples of like of, of low cow ness on the internet. Right? Yes. You know, it's kind of like the Egyptians. They had their, like, you know, they had set and, uh, and you know, all, all their things. And then, like, the Romans had, you know, Zeus. Uh, at, well, they called him Jupiter. Greeks called him Zeus. Um, you know, and then you had, like... we have stupid people. No, but the internet has its own mythologies. And this guy was the big uh, thing of what the fuck people do online that is fucked up. Um, obviously, his name's Pamper Chew. So uh, he's diaper related. Here's hey. a little, uh, here's a little thing about him. Hello, everyone. This is Pamperchu. Today, I'm going to teach you how to flush a diaper down the toilet. What? I like weird. <laughs> Starting off in genius levels here. Like, was he just left alone as a child, and they just said, "Yeah, look at this thing. It's cool. Flush stuff there? down." These are good nights for girls. Oh. So this is what it's like being a pamper and getting diapered. This is what it's like being a baby. I, I personally... Yeah. Where's the car, baby? That's nasty, man! This is Michael... <laughs> I hate this already. That was like, like a speed run of horrific... Degenerate... Axe. Uh oh, Mikey. Um, this is Pamper Chew. Ah. Uh, I mean, probably think of yourself for him. Mikey, why are you talking about Pamper Chew? Well, at the time of this recording, we're doing Easter. And when I saw this, I'm like, hey, Mikey needs to know this man right here. Okay, baby. Come on. Come on over here. You want your baby bottle? Hmm? Okay. Come and get it. Okay. Now stand. Now let me take a look at your bunny costume. Oh, look at that cute. No. Look at that cute. No. Tail. No. And that thick diaper, huh? No. Okay. Uh, let me see. Show me your feet. Like you were. were. We're in another playing field right now. Uh, Pamper Chew uh, has a lot of variety of things. Um, yeah. Okay. Now he's a furry. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, however, it's it's Couldn't not tell. it's not that big of a furry thing. So like, furry month has passed. You know, uh, we we had a lot of people that were upset about that. But hey, I'm Mikey was the rad kid, y'all. Uh, I just. I think you're cringy. I, I don't I don't want to eradicate you all. I just think it's a delusion and you all need to stop. It's not a delusion, it's it's a it's it's a delusion if you think it's normal. Right? So yeah, like well, what do you think these people are doing whenever they're wearing the, the outfits and stuff in public? Yeah. They think it's normal. 
Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so the reason why uh, <clears throat> uh, Pamperchu is, is known, uh, not because he's a furry, uh, it's because of the whole diaper thing, how obsessed he is. So something even worse. Yeah, crinkling. Oh, gross. But it it's beyond that. See, Mikey, he reviews diapers, too. Hello? And it's authentic, like, authentic diapers from the past. Hey, everyone, this is Pamper Chew. Today I got the new teddy bear Bambinos. Here I have a regular plain white Bambino and the teddy bear one. Um, they look very similar, except for uh, one thing is that this has uh, teddy bears and this has the new um, stretchy tapes where the regular Bambinos have normal tapes. Yeah. How about some old school ones, Mikey? Hello everyone, this is Pamper Chew, and today I'm going to show you Ultra Pampers Plus from 1987. Let's take a look around the box. Look for the Pampers product that's right for you and your baby. Thin These were diapers when I was a fucking baby. Yep. Because I was born in 1987, so I, this is weird. In regular absorbency Pampers, medium and large. Thick Pampers Plus. And Ultra Pampers Plus. If you're a large baby and you're 20, <laughs> 23 pounds or over. <sighs> but like you have the him. extra absorber at one. Who? Uh, Mikey. So yes. Let's 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 go back to the the video we were initially to learn more about the uh, guy that has the same name as you. Yeah, I hate that. It's like being he gets off to wearing diapers in his schizophrenic. <laughs> this is Michael Gifford, better known online as Pamper Chew. He's infamous. We're calling him that. The rest of this video. What, Michael? Pamper Chew. Which basically means he gets off to wearing diapers. In his schizophrenic rambling vlogs, Pamper Chew describes himself to be a furry, a brony, and allegedly is a minor attracted person. Is a Set okay. it on fire. Affinity for vintage technology, expired food, and his ability to somehow financially maintain his lifestyle, <sighs> despite his incoherent mental state, has provided for a sizable audience that curiously look on. He's an almost mythical figure on the internet these days for his shockingly degenerate behavior. Mm. Huh. Uh, if you're watching this at work or eating... But don't. Not but safe for anything. Disjointed and questionable monologues. Not safe for life. And you'll discover Let's a tragic past yeah. of abuse within his childhood. Oh boy. So the main thing is, uh, this gentleman, uh, he likes wearing diapers. Uh, he, there's a furry thing, a brony thing. Um, but there's a unique thing about him. He likes vintage stuff as well. And it seems like he's like super smart with technology, vintage technology. Oh, good. He can contribute to society. <sighs> Hello, everyone. This is Pamper Chew. Although his original YouTube channel has long since been deleted, an archive of it indicates good. that he's had a presence on YouTube since at least 2008. However, he did wow. appear in G4's Attack for the Show in 2005, what? which featured segments on pop culture, video games, and movies. Here on Attack of the Show, we love dressing up in fursuits. However, it's come to our attention that there's a vast amount of people out there that enjoy laying on the fur much more than we do. Wiggle it. Oh, so cute. Yeah, we're thinking it too. Some of his first YouTube videos included him reviewing old technology, unboxing diapers, or wearing his bunny suit in public. I hate this. It's from this time. Little, Why? Uh, Why? A, Back a, li a little behind the scenes. I texted. Uh, I, we have a little text uh, group uh, before the show. I, I mentioned that I think I'm going to break Mikey today. Yep. And yep. 
I'm gonna win. Time that he also <laughs> uploaded his diaper party meetups with his friends. Oddly, he was still diaper living- party meetups, Mikey. There's more than one in a in, in a room. With his parents, yet they seemed indifferent to his guests. And this was expanded upon further by Pampertree stating that his mother has slight interest in paraphilic infantilism. If what? Why does he know this? How does he know this? I mean, I don't want that answered, but I don't either. That's why I want to. In 2012, Pampertree would create an account. Nobody leaves that in the form. comments. Nobody. There's. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh huh. <laughs> There's a website for this. And interact regularly with others that shared a diaper fetish. The post from June 25th, 20. You hear that fetish? 13 reads. Uh huh. Quote, I found this mini 32 gigabyte flash drive and thought it would be great for the younger ABTLs that still have to hide their diaper picture and video collections. Check out how. Um, ah, fuck it. Let's just uh, go to what he's known uh, for as well. Um, wow, like, eleven minutes in, and we're already there. Okay. No, I, I mean I, I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, more disgusting thing he's known for. Oh is, boy. Uh, okay. Cooking diapers. Cooking. So he went on a forum. Someone asked if they could use uh, dirty diapers, and. Other diaper people, these are the people telling this person, don't do that. Uh, and then out of right. nowhere, an account with the name Pamper Chews, like, I use dirty diapers all the time. I go into dumpsters. Now, if it has poo poo in it, can't use it. But if it's pee pee, it's fine. You just have to put it in the microwave and, uh, you know, and then let it cool. And, <clears throat> um, and it's fine. And everyone's like, dude, no, you could, that's bacteria. You could yeah. you could seriously get hurt, and he's like, "Well, sir, don't worry, don't listen to them. I've been doing this for years, and I've never been sick." Sir, you're sick in the head. Um... But how he does it is so weird. Yeah. There goes another kilowatt. There goes another kilowatt. Bob. There goes another airplane. Shut up, disposable aircraft. Oh, I forgot to. There braids another wire. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh, you guessed it. Hey, it's 2014 almost. Put my razor blade to the side. That's not for storing drugs. That's for. People know like him nowadays. They they're like he lives in a trailer. Just doing crystal meth, I guess. Cutting wires. Let me plug it in and see what happens. So you've seen my old videos. I've cooked diapers. Plugged in the wall. I don't have an amp meter or watt meter, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this into here and slide this into here, and hopefully there goes another kilowatt. All right, so we have it kind of hooked up. It's not rolling the ball yet, but let's just do a testing. I'm going to get it closer to the light here, next to the power outlet. <coughs> I'm not fused or anything, but, you know, I have cir circus breakers. Oh, it's buzzing. But, you know, maybe I should roll it up, though. Quiet on. Ow! Ooh, that, that buzzed me a little. <laughs> I know, I'm so afraid of electricity. Uh, oh. It buzzed me a little bit. Oh, it's not going to smoke, like. You can hear it buzzing in there. I don't want to hear it buzzing. I don't want to see it. Science. No. Hello, everyone. This is Pamperchew. Stupidity. And you might remember my diapers that were on the roof for a couple years. I was doing a scientific experiment. There's an airplane. I was doing an experiment, and this is... I mean, the... Have you ever seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Yeah. The guy has sound drugs, and he talks like this, and all that stuff. Yeah. That's what he's reminding me of, but, like, we're, like... Oh, good. Person. The park told me to take it down. On drugs? What? Yeah. And so I did take it down, but... I'll let the, uh, airplane... 
if you guys don't know where uh, he's located, there's a hint right there. Oh, bye. There we go. Seattle. So I can hear my own voice. But uh, I, I was really studying. I don't know. The way um, UV light from. Well, Portland. Oh. By Seattle. It says Portland there. When the sun breaks down diapers, oh. which it does. Because when I was a kid, they said diapers took 500 years to decompose. Bullshit. So now I'm actually proving it. Um, <clears throat> so this is just, this was up there for about maybe a year. But you can look how the. Oh, you live in an airfield, right? Yeah, okay. But, uh, hold on, what's it smell like? Mmm, it smells good. It smells like, um, oh, it's, it smells good. It doesn't smell stinky. But there is. Oh, no. A, no, it doesn't the, smell stinky. The red that used to be on the, the bear, the red faded first. And it's kind of faded, right? It's like he's so obsessed with the actual diaper itself, like diaper technology. And yeah. he's so interested. And, like, if it was like anything else that, you know, kids used to shit themselves it would be a little interesting like wow this is like useless information but he knows a lot about it well it's no 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 diapers. think of it think of it this way okay if even if it's diapers diapers are something that's used by millions and millions of people around the world <laughs> billions of people right it's kids a product do. yeah i mean and old people right but i'm saying parents buy it and old people for their kids and if he was so interested in it. And if he's smart, like, just think of the advancements in the technology he could do to help, like, change people's lives, like, make diapers this great thing. But we get, he's doing this. Yeah, Mikey, I mean, like, I know exactly what you're talking about. Maybe this, uh, the next experiment he did uh, will advance the usage of diapers. Oh boy. Hello everyone. This is one. This is Pamper Chew. And uh, I made a little mess on the floor in my last video, but I made a bigger mess in the tub. So these are all like diapers out of the dumpster. Like they were new and stuff. So I just soak them in water. You see there's some water. I soaked them all up. And what we're going to do, we're going to jump in the tub and we're going to squish them. We're going to squish them like this. See how, see how it's like folding? As well, it's just so good, but see, so watch this. <clears throat> oh, it popped out the side. Oh, it didn't, it didn't burst. There it goes. So, we're gonna, we're gonna squish them off. We're gonna squish them. Now, to uh, many people out there, why are we talking about this? Well, I, one, who in their right mind? That same would uh, sh not only just do this, but record it and then share it to the world. I think that's a great idea. So the banana bear show, like uh, I, <sighs> if you haven't noticed, we we talk about degenerate people. Sometimes it's like, oh, they're you know you should know about them that these people do bad things, and then it's own conversing, uh the weird shit they they put out there. For everyone to know yeah. and, and what broke my brain about this guy is is the 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 i don't know the insane amount of nostalgia and technical things about diapers he knows about but he's also into uh acting like a baby for and, and the people that are acting like the adults that are taking care of him are just as weird yeah thank you um you know, the whole furry thing's not it I don't know what's better. A uh, person acting like a child nope. wearing a onesie bunny suit. Nope. Or a furry suit. Nope. It's all bad. It's all delusional, it all sucks. But if you had to pick one. I would not. But some I people oh, would it's not. just role play. No. You have no dice involved. I would, I would think like, oh, I'm a bunny. <laughs> roll for your, roll for intelligence. You get a zero every time, boy. Every time, man. You got really Jamaican there. I did. <laughs> every time now, boy. Charles Cho. I can't buy diapers. Buy diapers, so I just go through trash to find some. 
What do you think? Is it a good idea? Bad, bad idea. Go and buy them for God's sake, lol. I would love to buy some, but I can't. I just wear them five minutes. I do it, and it's safe as long as you know what you're doing. Wet diapers are very safe and can be reused, but poopy diapers can make you sick, so just be careful. I have saved wet and poopy diapers from dumpsters for over 10 years, and I have never been sick. I love the smell of old diapers and love getting them out of the garbage for free. Ish, it wasn't any of that. And the uh, police show up, like all of them. Uh-huh, all of them. You know, 11 of them or something. Good. So the police are aware of Pamper Chew, so they know, like, just, just, just imagine if you went into a place and it's filled with old, like, nostalgic, like, technological things, like VCRs and, and like, old, like, you know, doohickeys from the 60s, 70s, 80s, Pretty 80s, Pretty sure 90s. I see a dot matrix printer right there. Yeah, and diapers. Just, just make sure this, there's nothing going on in this place. Just do yearly checkups. Monthly. <laughs> and I'm just trying to, you know, trying to... Put things back together. This house is- you know why they might be coming? This house is a violation of the fucking fire code. Air conditioner. Tear it down. That was free. Oh, what else did I find? Oh, a jet engine. Yeah. You know, you- Get the whole thing. Yeah. Whole thing. Whole thing. Yep. What makes it worse is that he's just in a diaper. Yeah. Like, Okay. You've got enough shit around your house, uh, there, Pamper Chew. You d I don't know if you need a, a free junk air conditioner and a jet and- And I love how this guy- I've seen a couple of his videos. Respect to the bears, you know. <laughs> um, but I love how, like, it looks like the bear's looking just like, Oh, you're wearing a diaper. That's yeah. Jin, you might want to just work on cleaning things up first, and then get Xbox huge. But all of my plastic is secure. Awesome. You know, plastic diapers and stuff. Oh, of course. Got new doors on the walls. Mm-hmm. This was like a house tour, basically. Oh, there he is. Full glory. You know what? This this one that we just saw was from two days ago. We need to watch one that's old. We need to watch an older one. Uh, something that'll give us a, a look at, at our boy in his natural... <laughs> uh, a natural... Did you see what that video was called? Yep. Natural habitat. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Be like with my diapers. I'm fine. I've never been sick. Yeah. You know, pa Pamper Chew's how Okay, this one is a classic. Classic. This is from 2012. Obviously, his living arrangements have changed since then, but I think it's still. That, there's no way. That's a house. No, that's a shack. Oh, wouldn't that be funny if you lived in there? It's like a room. Relevant viewing for anybody, any uh, intrepid uh, viewers. See, I hate that he, if you're not aware, he does a lot of like old tech videos as well. And I hate that his videos get like the 8-bit guy showing up or LGR <laughs> or whatever in the sidebar. It's like, no, please. I watch those channels. We don't need, can you just have a different hobby? Can you have like, like, I don't know, milking goats or something like that. Okay, so imagine for a second, if you will, you're you're a pizza guy, right? Or pizza gender neutral individual. It's gotten kind of cluttered. And you're coming up to this house and you see this. By the way, the guy's name is Darkwing uh, Dork. That's, that's his, I, I'm trying to give credit where credit's due. Yeah, this, this is his video. Thing Go check him out. On a, like a baby block. This is the only time when it's acceptable to demand a tip at the door. Um, this is just how it oh. is. You walk in, you've got the, the king size mucho grande stuffed crust fuck you pizza. And he, he answers the door and he's like slightly sweaty and glistening. And he's got this like vague look in his eyes and he's like, hey, hey. And you're like, I set up my audio equipment over here. It used to uh -huh. be down in the corner. And on top we have the turntable. Mm -hmm. Oh, I better take that inside. Oh, yeah. Getting milk ick. Yeah. You don't want your baby bottle to get ick. Oh, yeah. Yucky. Oh, my God. Yucky's why? Bad. Why, Quorum? Why? Why? Like, that was just like, a, oh, I better take this inside. 
No, don't uh, worry about that. A day, a day, <laughs> uh, day at the park with my daddy. Is that his real dad? Just not, no. Probably. Daddy, okay. there he is. To just get get a good look at our boy. Hi, this is Camper 2. I found a really neat park that's really big. It's for the college students. Oh boy, I bet they love you. <laughs> Here, baby, here's your baby bottle. My carrot! <laughs> oh my god. It's so hot. My carrot needs to grab. Mikey. Yeah. And the thing is, like, okay. This this guy's been around for a while. Okay. okay. And nowadays he's not. Uh obviously he's he's a local. He's not on the same level as like, you know, uh Chris Chan. Right. Or um or, you know, uh, even Cyrax. His time has passed, but he's left his mark on society. Yeah, and it's it's funny because I uh, so what is the theory when you um when you see something and you're like, well, that's what we're shown. What well, usually is not shown is worse. Yeah. Um because obviously uh, no one in the right mind that's a little more sane will show their um hobbies uh because it's weird or cringy. And then you have other people that are wired a certain way where they're like, it, it's cool to, to, you know, be a, be a big kid in my diapers. No. And then also, like I said, there's people that their kink is to take care of normal people. Yep. That are acting like babies. Yep. What the fuck? Ah, uh, those people are messed up too. Why um, do we have so many messed up people in the world, Quorum? At least we have shit to cover. We'll never run out. No. A anyone out there that like you know that got mad at the furry thing and you're still watching us? I appreciate the watch. I mean, if you're gonna be a furry, you might as well watch what your people do. Well, not only that. Because everyone has a, a, a little sense of uh, weirdness about them. Yeah. I'll say that. Um, like I said, that level one furry thing, I, you're cringy. That's it. You're not, I don't hate you. But it's like when you go up the next level. I you know? don't, I don't hate you. I despise what you do. You are delusional. But when you when you mention like like we've had a guy that does diapers stuff too, and we've mentioned that it's probably a fetish for him, yeah, to get taken care of and all that stuff, and he has brain damage, so he literally acts like a child that has autism, but he doesn't have autism, so you know it's all an act, right? I would say, Pamper Chew and him, like you have a you have a diaper user crinkler uh and then you have this guy he's that plus he's interested he's interested in in niche technology and he's a furry and they mentioned something about him being a map yep uh, which in my research i haven't i haven't seen him with any of that but if he's interacting with other kids acting like a kid and it has ever mentioned him being into that well i mean it's not but, that big of a jump right it's somebody who thinks or enjoys being a kid so logically what are they going to be attracted to yeah but i mean like okay so you're getting the michael jackson at that uh defense nice or offense because he, he may have diddled some kids yep maybe uh, he had to like a child all the time um but like, I don't know. Paper Chew just reminds me of like if Pee Wee Herman had more like ADD, this is how he would be in real life, you know, wearing the kids' clothes. You know, today we're going to go on the swing set, you know? 
I never uh, liked Pee Wee Herman, so... I, when I was a kid, I liked him. And when I grew up, I kind of figured that it's... He was more of an allegory of a... Of someone that is, you know, is innocent. An innocent person. Right, he he was a child. He wasn't a... He had child innocence, but he wasn't like, you know, just doing it for the kids. Right. Like, it was different. And he lived in a fantasy world. It's this couch fucking talking. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, Pee Wee's Big Adventure is a pretty good movie. My bike! <laughs> I always thought he was weird, even as a kid. I don't think I watched it when I was a little, little kid. I Pee think I was a little Pee bit Wee's older. Pee Playhouse you never watched? No, I've watched it. I just, uh, I think I saw it as an older kid. Well, you're so. a little older than me. Yeah. yeah. So I was kind of like, ah, uh, no I thanks. just remember three, well, four major things with Pee Wee Herman, right? I know okay. we're getting off topic, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one, um, oh, Pee Wee Herman's in this horror movie called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> the movie, not the show. Right. Uh, and he played this guy where he gets stabbed. He's ooh ah, you know, it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah. Two, uh, when I got a little older, I saw him again. Uh, when uh, my school had this dare program, and he had this little advertising he's like, "This is crack," and I'm like, oh, "Okay." And then the last thing is, uh, Pee Wee Herman was found in a certain theater touching himself, so we arrested him. Yep. Did you arrest everyone in that theater? Because I guarantee nope. they were all doing that. Yep. That's what you it, like. They don't have those anymore, I don't think. But because uh, you have the internet, yeah. <laughs> Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and we're talking about this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> really this guy's ruining my childhood. Kid, huh? <laughs> yep. I don't like this. I don't like this. Lusting after this fucking grown ass guy and saying, "Boy, you look like a little boy." <laughs> Oh my god. He's got the jeans chain, he's got the fucking finger, he's got- actually, if you look closely, he's got one. He's got one fingerless glove. It's like Tyrex. Oh. Just imagine seeing this in- I- I don't even have to say that. You probably have seen this in, like, outside. You get the hot topic and everybody's looking at me. Really? So they got oh, kicked out surprise. of the mall. Like, again, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted. They got kicked out of the mall just for wearing the wrong clothes. That's a fucking racist piece of shit. Mikey, this has been um, a, a cleaner version of what I was going to show you of uh, Pamper Jan. Oh, okay. It's just, I, I, I have this little rule. Like, him and, and uh, Andrew, uh, I didn't want to show you the dirty diaper stuff. You saw a little, but there's literal shit diaper videos. I yeah, didn't want to show I'm, that. I'm glad I didn't see those because the 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 wet. I don't want to say urine, but unmentionable Pee -pee. fluid that was in there. Pee pee. Yeah, that was gross enough. Uh -huh. It's like Brock Lesnar urine punch. And with that, <laughs> be sure to check us out on a Banana Bear Show on YouTube. And uh, like, subscribe. Tell us what you thought of this crazy, degenerate man, thing, person. Funny. Oh. In the comments. And uh, we'll see you next video. Bye. <laughs> he's gonna, Mikey's going to have a word with me after this. <laughs>